any body can absorb, reflect, or emit light. This is a black body. It is an ideal object that absorbs and emits all incident electromagnetic radiation without any reflection. So, when you shine light at this body, irrespective of the frequency, wavelength, or angle of incidence, the body will absorb it. And then, to maintain thermal equilibrium, it will liberate this energy in the form of radiation. So, interestingly, a perfect black body does not exist. The closest we've come to this concept is the sun and the stars. Why do these hot bodies glow? The physicists in the 19th century had the same question. Lord really knew that the color emitted by the body depended on its temperature. So just like when this filament cools down, it changes from white to yellow to red. He really saw this but he could not understand why, so he used classical physics to explain it. He said that any body that emitted radiation was made up of particles that vibrated like a spring, and each vibration was converted into light energy. So if particles vibrated slowly, it would release radiation of lower frequencies, but if the particles vibrated fast, the frequency would be high. So, as the temperature increased, the waves emitted would also increase in frequency. This prediction held true for lower temperatures, but as the body got hot, the vibrations would get uncontrollably high and translate to this release of an infinite amount of energy in the form of extremely high frequency waves, that is UV or gamma radiation. But that cannot happen. It violates the most basic principle of conservation of energy. The ultraviolet catastrophe had occurred. Around the same time, Mark Planck, while trying to figure out something totally unrelated, assumed energy was quantized. That black body emitted energy only in chunks. It's like this. When you want to buy chocolate, you can buy one, two or three full bars. There is no option of buying half or any quantity in between. Energy is released in these discrete quantities called quanta. And each quantum is proportional to the frequency and related through an integer multiple of the Planck's constant. While this was very intuitive, the prediction finally matched the observation and this snowballed into the development of quantum mechanics.